Hello everyone. In the last video, I've shown you how to create event listeners in JavaScript in order to avoid messing up our HTML with our JavaScript. And also for purposes of code independence, which means that the HTML page can be written without having to write JavaScript or the JavaScript being written independently of each other. So <laughs> in this video, I'm going to show you uh, the, the, the new method of calling nameless functions in JavaScript and, and included in uh, event listeners. Remember that we have a Greek computation page before. We are going to use this to uh, illustrate the, the point. Here is the code. We know that we have a button which is called compute grade and we don't, we don't like this to be associated with the on-click attribute of the button. So in this case, we are going to remove the on-click at attribute, but this time we are going to include uh, just the ID of the button. So we, we ID the button as compute grade the same way. So in this case, there is no link anymore. Let's save. Now, we are going to rename our JavaScript function compute grade into an event listener like this. So we are going to use the uh, add event listener function of the element like this. Okay, so we use get document get element by id compute grade, which is the id of the button, and add event listener. And the event to be listened to is click. And then uh, we remove the function, the original function, and we retain the body. So now we have successfully uh, added an event listener in our JavaScript without having to associate it with an HTML element in the HTML body. Okay, let's try that right away. For example, here we have to retype the score items and the base of computation and we compute grade. So uh, sometimes errors occur, so we have to inspect it now. <laughs> In this case, the button ID is compute grade, and we have to get element by ID, okay, and listen to the function. And uh, by the way, we have at the end of the function, we have to add close parentheses and a semicolon because that should terminate the add event listener function call. Let us try that again. Let's refresh. And then type a, sc a score, a number of items, and a base of computation. And we compute. Now we have the code working. Now the newer versions of JavaScript <coughs> have uh, revised this method. In in instead of that, we can revise the calling of the function as follows. So we will comment the old version, and we will introduce a new version. This is how it is called. Okay, so instead of the the word function, we're we're going we're just going to to name the function with open and close parentheses. We remove the function word, the reserved word function, and inside the parentheses you can the same way add parentheses or other parameters. And then instead of the open close right away, we have the equal and greater than uh, operator to point to the code. So this is the modern way of uh, calling a nameless function in JavaScript. So uh, if you happen to view a tutorial or a, an example which shows a syntax like this, this, a fun this is just actually calling a, a nameless function and pointing to the code. The same way you have to terminate with a close parenthesis and a semicolon. So let us refresh the page again and test how it runs, test the effect of the nameless nameless function. It's the same way. Now, if you view the page source, take note that we have uh, cut the link between the bottom. We just use the ID and uh, the call to the uh, event listener is just a nameless function. That's all about it. Bye and see you in the next video.